you guys what's up what's good thank you guys so much for stopping by so today's video is going to be a monthly favorite it's kind of like the vibe that i'm going for is when i visit my mom or if i'm with a friend or my sister i literally tell them did you hear about this product did you hear about this this is what i'm doing I discovered this or whatever it is, you know, like I always love to share all of the things that have been working for me in my life, either, you know, ways of thinking or actual products. And I know products is something that me and my mom discuss all of the time. We share beauty tips and tricks and products and things that are working for us. And I think it's a big part of our Latina culture. You know, we love to share the latest things that we find. So that's the vibe that we're going for today. Um, I am doing my best also to film this video a little bit differently in a sense of the way that I sound because um, this wonderful YouTube um, content creator and she creates content you know, on other platforms. Her name is Katarina Satori and she's a spiritual teacher and business coach and mentor and she's incredible. I highly recommend you guys check out her content for soul-centered, authentic, awakening, higher levels of consciousness content. And so she was talking about how important it is for us to speak in our true voice, you know, the way that we dictate our words and the way that we sound and the fluctuation of our tone and everything about how important it is for us to sound authentic. And it really got me thinking about after 15 years of being on YouTube, um, I kind of feel like sometimes I have to turn on and, you know, be extremely extroverted with my energy because the energy, you know, that you see oftentimes on YouTube is like, hi guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Like it's very, very extroverted. And for some people it works wonderful and that is their personality and their nature. But for me, if I'm being honest, it's not because whenever I tune into that inauthentic way of thinking or speaking, um, I always feel so empty and so drained after creating a video and I don't want it to feel like that. <laughs> so it really got me thinking about how important it is to be so truthful even to the way that we speak because sometimes we think we have to sound a certain way or we have to act a certain way as content creators and um, I'm just, I don't know, feeling like I just got to be more, more myself. Like, how would I really be with my girlfriends? Um, how would I, how would I be? What is the way that my voice would sound? And that's, that's also the vibe that we're going for today. So with that being said, um, I guess we're going to start off with health and wellness because that's like one of my biggest passions. I do devote a lot of my time to, bettering the way that I eat. Um, my fitness routine, I pretty much have it on lockdown um, because I already know what's been working for me. So the first thing that I wanted to share, something that has been working for me so much and hopefully it helps somebody out there who is looking to build muscle and burn fat even when you are not working out. So if that is your goal and um, your mission is to be leaner and just more fit, you know, in that sense, not that you have to be lean to be fit, but if you just want to be leaner and you want to build muscle, you, you know, you want to shred and tone up, let me tell you. So I've been doing beach body for the longest time not sponsored anything about this video today is not sponsored at all guys because i know when i talk about beach body there is like this parrot pyramid scheme and that is not it that we're not doing that we're not doing no pyramid schemes here but i do enjoy beach body the platform as a consumer so i've known about beach body literally since maybe 20 years ago since 2000s or 2001 or something like that because my mom in her 30s and 20s like her whole life she's always been a very active person she takes care of her body her skin her appearance and she's always worked out so as a little girl I saw my mom taking care of herself and always working out. Like every morning she would be, you know, doing Slim and Six or Gelat Body in Motion. Those of you around my age, you you know what I'm talking about, okay? So I think those are Beachbody programs, but they were actually cassettes back in the day. 
And so the program that I want to recommend to you guys that honestly I have seen incredible results is called Lift 4. Um, I recommend it sometimes like on Instagram stories and stuff, but I wanted to talk about, about it a little bit because I have so much to say. So Lift 4 is the weight training program, right? So I used to do a lot of cardio, but the cardio was not giving me the results that I was looking for. I really wanted to burn a lot of fat because I had just had a baby and I had a lot of fat on me and I was lacking it a lot of confidence in my body. I was just not happy with the way that my body looked because I had a lot of weight in unwanted places and I also felt really weak. And it sucks when you go to your closet and you put on a dress and you just see your reflection and you don't like what you see. And I know that the message is love your body, love yourself, love everything about you at every single stage. But the truth of the matter is, yes, that sounds all great, the fact is that even though I knew those things intellectually, I didn't experience that. Like, I was not happy in my body when it's overweight. I love my body to be lean, and I wanted muscles, and I wanted to build and just be stronger. So that was the goal initially, and I started doing so much cardio, and... Honestly, it just, I was not burning any, I was burning a little bit of calories. So anyways, I did a lot of the programs on Beachbody and Joel Freeman is the creator of Lift 4 and he also has 10 rounds, which is another program that I do, which is boxing basically. And that's how I got started in boxing and Lift 4, you lift four days out of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday off, and then Thursday and Friday, and then Sunday and Saturday and Sunday are off also. So you only lift four days. 45 minutes and you do a lot of um, active recovery. Well, that's what I do. I love still I still love to work out even on my days off, but I do active recovery. So I'll just go walking or hiking or yoga or Pilates or something that is going to allow my muscles to recover because that's a really important part of building muscle. And so the beautiful thing about this program, guys, I've done it four times. Actually, I've done it three full times. I am on my fourth time that I've done the, the program from start to finish, and I believe it's eight weeks each and every single time that I've done it. So that's how much I love it. I complete it from beginning to end, and I usually, I was... I was the type of person that didn't finish programs because I just got bored from it or I didn't enjoy the actual workouts. Lifting weights has become so fun for me. And like I've mentioned before, is way more than... Um, I don't focus on burning weight, uh, burning fat anymore. I just focus on getting mentally stronger and you know, battling mental demons and any limiting beliefs. Maybe I had a week that I wasn't really feeling too confident about myself. Maybe I experienced rejection, which is a part of life. And yeah, I, you know, I get rejected still to this day. So I think it's something that we're all going to experience. So if I'm having one of those days where I, uh, where I experience rejection, I love to go in, put on my headphones and just lift weights and, and just get stronger, just feel stronger and just remind myself that none of this is going to 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 take me down. You know what I mean? That I can get back up no matter what happens to me. And so I not only was I working out less, less days, because before I was working out basically seven days a week for like two full straight years. Not only am I working out less, but I'm burning calories. And that's the wonderful thing about lifting is that you still continue to burn calories 24 hours after, don't quote me, but like many, many hours still after you've done, you're done working out, which is why lifting, you know, building muscle and lifting weights is so incredible for burning fat. You don't have to, you don't have to like, you know, exhaust yourself to the fullest limit for two hours or one hour of intense, high intensity training in order to see results. So that's what I noticed. Not only do I work out less, but I burn more fat, I build muscle and I get lean. And now when I get dressed, even like I got these beautiful dresses from Lulu's and I was trying them on and like I didn't have any more of the back fat that I used to have. Like my my thighs look so muscular. I go get my feet done sometimes and the ladies that get my that do my feet and give me a massage, like they're always complimenting my thighs and my calves and stuff. And I feel so confident in my body and I love putting on a sexy dress and feeling beautiful and feeling confident. Um, because that's how I personally feel beautiful and confident. 
And um, yeah, so I wanted to recommend it in case you're, you know, wanting to start your fitness journey, you want to build muscle, you want to burn fat, you want to lean up, you want to get healthier, stronger, physically, mentally. Highly recommend Lift 4 by Joel Freeman on Beachbody. Anyways, so for my workouts, I also always drink an energizer. And I just started drinking this one. It's by Alani New. It's a pre-workout in Witch's Brew. I got it over the Halloween era and I love anything like witchy, you know, so I got it. It tastes really good. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes for it to kick in so you can really, you know, feel very energized. That's when you're going to start to feel like all the tingling, but I really like it. It actually does give me a sustained, like at least for one hour, it gives me all the energy that I need so that when I do show up to work out, I'm not dragging because if I'm ever lacking energy during a workout, it becomes boring for me. You know what I mean? Like I want to be able to, yeah, let's get some more. Let's do more. And that's what the pre-workout does for me. So I do drink every single time I drink a pre-workout before I work out. And I have really been enjoying this brand. I want to try something else once I'm done with this, like another flavor from this specific brand. But um, I was drinking the Beachbody um, pre-workout also, and that one works really well also, but I think this one's more affordable, guys. Next up, active recovery days. Um, active recovery just means that you're not just going to sit on the sofa and recover. It means that you're either going to do some stretching, some yoga, a walking, um, the Stairmaster, something like that. You know what I mean? Like you're still active um, during the days that you are recovering your muscles. So... I ended up getting these Bala uh, weights that you can apply to your ankles or your wrists, which is really cool because since I do a lot of walking, I always love to add a little bit more resistance. And guys, if you are looking to start a fitness journey, I'm not an expert at this at all, but I do have like almost three years of experience um, of like consistent experience. So I've learned a lot along the way. But one of my favorite things to do is walking. I've talked about it before. Walking not only um, decompresses you and um, you're able to listen to podcasts or music or whatever you want or get on the phones, talk to your mom or your, a friend, a, a loved one, but you burn so many calories walking also. And I don't want to push the message of like just focusing so much on uh, on the bodies also on like calories and things like that because I don't count calories I'm not like very tedious about that um, I just want to be very um, sensitive to the the conversation about um, how our bodies should look or burning calories or putting so much emphasis on that you know because I don't want it to be like that but uh, I'm just sharing where I am in my journey and for me just being lean is very important and it's a value of mine right now um, but you know you could be very skinny and be unhealthy and you can also have excess weight and be unhealthy or healthy also you know so it's not black and white um, this is just more about just taking care of ourselves and figuring out the ways that we're going to feel the most confident, the most beautiful from the inside out. And this to me, all of this is preparation for my future. This is why I got so serious about this because I'm only getting older. Things are going to start to maybe go down south a little bit, you know, so it has, it's very important that for me, I don't want to be in hospitals. I want to be able to live a very active and independent life god willing if everything goes well um when i'm 80 or 90 like my grandparents are very independent and they go on walks and they're healthy people and i want to be like that also i want to be able to travel the world when i'm 90 and do a lot of things and for me i truly believe that it starts with our daily habits that we're doing today right now you know so that's fitness now um Let's talk about a little bit about skincare. So skincare is really important to also for me, even more so now, guys. Like I'm very mindful about the products that I pick for my skincare routine. When I was in my 20s and in early 30s even, I didn't really care too much about what product I was using. As long as my face was cleansed properly, moisturized, that was about, and sunscreen, that's all I cared about. But now I'm 35 going on 36 this year 
And I do notice the loss of collagen that I have on my face. So it's a little bit more like droopy. Sometimes I want to say sagging. So, you know, I think a lot about like what foods are going to help me produce more collagen or just plump up my skin a little bit more just to age gracefully. You know, this is the vehicle we're taking. We're taking care of the vehicle that carries our soul. And that's really important. This is the temple, right? So I know it could sound superficial, but it's not superficial. Like we should also care about our beautiful bodies and do what we can to make it look healthy and vibrant and beautiful and gorgeous and glowing from always the inside out. So I found this product. I've actually had it for quite some time, but I rediscovered it in my skincare, you know, arsenal that I have because my son Isaac has a lot of blackheads on his forehead. He's turning 12 tomorrow, so he is going through puberty and so he has excess oil, but he also sweats a lot and he also didn't necessarily know how to properly cleanse his face cuz you know, I've showed him a few times, but I never really gave him an in-depth, you know, look as to what you need to do. But now that I notice that he's going through puberty, we have nailed it down and found the perfect skincare routine to clear up any acne, more so pimples, blackheads, whiteheads, not really acne actually. Uh, but I noticed that it was getting really out of hand. So I pulled out, okay, what do I need to do to make sure that his skin is unclogged? And I did a whole skincare treatment one night. And then in the morning when he woke up to go to school, like his skin was so, like 80% better. I was like, wow, it actually worked. So this is one of the products that I use on him and myself. It's called the Pineapple Exfoliating Scrub, and it's a rice, um, it's like a powder exfoliant. It has vitamin C, so it's really great to brighten up the skin and to soften the skin. And I really love these four textures. So if you, and that's one of the biggest thing, issues that he had. My skin doesn't have texture, guys. At all. My mom touched my skin the other day and she's like, Estás bien suavecita. You know, like my skin is so soft. But I don't have any skincare, I, maybe one or two bumps, but that's just because they just came out. But overall, I don't have any skin texture and that's because I love using powder exfoliants. They're just so gentle and so effective to just smooth out the skin. You know, like if you have blackheads like Isaac had blackheads using this every night just to go in there and start to exfoliate and even out the skin surface it's really going to help you out tremendously if you have an issue with texture on the skin and you just want to smooth the skin out a lot more. Good Molecules is a really good brand also. Now for all my ladies with thinning hair or if you have bald spots like your girl right here some of you guys call me out sometimes and you're like, Dulce, what is going on with your forehead? Um, so basically when I was in the army, we had to use Kevlar's and Kevlar's are, you know, the helmet and it applies so much pressure here in the middle. So a lot of us in the military, we have like this one bald spot right here. And now that I think about it, I think it is more of a bald spot than like thinning hair because it just never recuperated you know like when I went through my postpartum hair loss like all of the hair came back except here so I think there's just some damage that happened with the Kevlar and it just doesn't really grow back so when I don't have this product you kind of see a lot more skin right here in the center so it's by a brand called Rita Hazan it's a root concealer so also if you have gray hairs if you have you know like your hair is growing out and um, you want to conceal the roots. This is a really great product because it's also very long lasting and it's very like pigmented So it's going to give you really great coverage I also love using this and a little bit goes a long way But sometimes when I pull my hair up, I love spraying it like I didn't do it today But like I would spray it like right here and then it would just make it all black you know, so it looks like really full. I am reading like the 5 a.m. Club by Robin Sherman also reading out Witting the Devil by Napoleon Hill, who wrote Think and Grow Rich, which is a book that I gifted to my dad in Spanish also, now that he's retired. And Outwitting the Devil, guys, such a great conversation. Um, listen to the audiobook because it really gives you the perspective of Napoleon Hill interviewing the devil. And I know like in the Catholic religion, the devil is depicted as a person almost, or like an entity that is in a human form. 
that lives in a place where there's a lot of fire and he's red and he has horns and a tail and a pitchfork. But the devil in this book, outwitting the devil, is depicted as negative energy. They even Napoleon even asks the devil, like, who are you? What are you? He's like, I have no physical form. I live in the minds of people as fear. And you know how they, there's this quote, an idle mind is the devil's playground. Now I get it because even in the book, Outwitting the Devil, which was published published 72 years after it was written because his wife, Napoleon's wife at the time, actually thought the book was going to be controversial, so he never published it right after creating Think and Grow Rich. So it was just published in 2011, guys, and the book is free on YouTube if you want to check out the audiobook, but me and my hubby were listening to it. An idle mind is a devil, devil's playground, and the devil meaning the negative forces, the negative forces that opposes God's energy, essence, the presence that keeps everything in order and flowing in nature and balance in the cosmos, everything in harmony, that's God. But there's an opposing force that is negative that controls people. And he even says, I live in the minds of people who don't think for themselves. And because people are too lazy to think for themselves, I go in there and I think for them. And I plant all of the seeds of fear, of doubt, that they're not good enough, of death, all the things they fear, I plant it. And these germinate, the seeds that I plant germinate and they get stronger and stronger and they become my army, you know, they, they are my agents, he calls them. All these people that do bad things. And it got me thinking to how important it is for us to be so aware of our thinking and the things. Like, he even says that in the book. And it really got me thinking, you have to actively think good things. You have to act. That's why positive thinking, the power of positive thinking, you have to fill your mind. Because if you don't actively fill your mind with optimism with love with positive a positive self image positive affirmations the devil will come and plant the opposite because you, then you're not being a participant in your own mind and i think a lot about all the times that i've been depressed or felt sad or like i said rejected or whatever and the devil gets straight to work, you know? And now I, I understand why some people say que son mentiras del diablo, you know? Um, and I didn't understand that before because some mental health issues are more than just positive thinking. Like, it's a serious mental health condition. But we're not all chronically depressed, you know? I don't, I don't believe that. So a lot of it has to do with our thinking and the, the stories that we play in our mind and we give them more fire and ammunition by repeating and repeating and not breaking the cycle of those patterns of thinking that are keeping us down because the enemy lives in the mind the war is in our minds the battle is in our minds what we have to fight is not out here it's in the mind it's in our mind you know so that was pretty much it, ladies. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I feel completely energized. Wow. Now I know the difference between being authentic and not being authentic. You know? Like, grounding myself. And it's not that I'm, that I'm like, trying to be fake or nothing. But it's more of, like, are you grounded? Are you grounded? And I'm so grounded right now. Like, I'm not... Hi, guys! Welcome to today! You know what I mean? Like, that would be not grounded and... Even just doing that, that felt like, whoa, that was a lot of energy that just came out. But even just having this, what feels like, it feels like a two-way conversation, but I know, like, there's nobody here to give me feedback. You know, I wish I had someone right here. I wish I had you right here so we can talk. But um, I feel incredibly energized, and I loved today's video. I really loved it. So I hope you guys did, too. Um, I'm really happy to come on here and connect with you guys on YouTube. One of my goals is to be so much more connected and consistent with connecting with you guys. So I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I hope you all have a blessed, beautiful, beautiful day and continue to be that light. We need more agents of God. So that's it, guys. Have a blessed and beautiful day. And I can't wait to talk to you and continue this conversation in the comments section.